I, I don't know exactly how long this video is going to be useful to people, but I just felt like I should make it anyway. As you probably know, just as AMD was about to launch the RX 5600 XT for 280 US dollars and bring some serious competition to Nvidia's GTX 1660 Ti, Nvidia, in an effort to make the 5600 XT irrelevant uh, right out of the gate at that price point, pushed out a $299 version of the RTX 2060, which is currently the only $299 version of that card for sale and has proven to be quite difficult to find in stock so far. But that's not the point of this video. To respond to this sudden price drop, AMD decided to push out a new VBIOS for the RX 5600 XT, which increased its performance, putting it a, uh, now a good way ahead of the 1660 Ti for the same money, and then bringing it neck and neck with the RTX 2060. The first wave of 5600 XT cards to hit store shelves, however, did not get this VBIOS update from the factory. So if you have one of these early cards, which I'm assuming you do since you're watching this, and you want to unlock that extra performance, uh, you have to flash the card yourself. I bought a PowerColor Red Dragon 5600 XT, so that's the card I'll be flashing in this video. But if you have a power color red devil, the process is going to be almost identical. So this tutorial should work great for you too. Uh, if you have a 5600 XT from another manufacturer like Sapphire, Gigabyte, MSI, Asus, or someone else, I'd recommend finding a tutorial for your specific card as there are differences to the way each manufacturer has chosen to go about this. According to PowerColor's website, this VBIOS flash is only needed on cards whose serial numbers begin with DG2001, uh, like mine does here. So if you're coming across this video sometime in the future, and your card serial number begins with something other than DG2001, uh, you should already have this VBIOS version installed, so you do not need to do this. Alrighty, to flash the VBIOS, there are a few things we're going to need. Uh, first of all, we need to download the updated VBIOS from PowerColor's website. I've included the link to their site in the video description to help you find it more easily. If you have a Red Dragon 5600 XT like I do, then you want to download this version of the VBIOS right here. If you have the Red Devil 5600 XT, then you want to download this other one. Now, PowerColor has decided to compress everything in this package into a .rar file, which is an archive file similar to a zip file, and the files inside need to be extracted before we can use them. If you don't already have a utility that can open a .rar file like WinRAR or 7-zip, then you're going to need to download one. 7-zip is open source and free to use, so I just downloaded 7-zip from 7-zip.org, which I have also placed a link to in the video description. I have the 64-bit version of Windows 10 on my PC, so I downloaded the 64-bit version of 7-zip here. If you're running a 32-bit version of Windows, then you'll want to download the 32-bit version of 7-zip. Once you've downloaded it, you'll want to go into your download folder and install 7-zip to your computer. Once you have it installed, you can again go to your download folder and right click on the 5600 XT VBIOS update package. Uh, go to 7-zip and choose extract here. We're now ready to download our last piece of software we need to get the new VBIOS installed to our card. The last application we need is called AMD VB Flash. PowerColor does provide you with instructions in the update package on how to flash your card through DOS using a program called Rufus, uh, but I prefer using AMD VB Flash because it's just a lot less complicated in my opinion. I downloaded AMD VB Flash from Guru3D.com and have linked the download page in the video description uh, along with everything else. Once it has finished downloading, you'll go to your download folder once again, right click on the zipped folder and choose extract all. Once the files have been extracted, you're ready to install AMD VB Flash. When you double click it to run the program, you may get a pop-up like this, 
click on more info and then click run anyway. Windows will then ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Uh, click yes, and then you can go through the install wizard for AMD VB Flash. Once it's installed, you should land in this window here. Uh, double click on AMD VB Flash Win, and now we're just a few clicks away from significantly increasing the performance of our 5600 XT. Oh, I almost forgot to mention something pretty important here. You'll notice on the Red Dragon, and I assume the Red Devil is the same, that you have a little switch. This card is a dual BIOS card, so you can choose to operate on the OC BIOS, which just stands for overclocked, uh, you know, it's the higher performance BIOS, or there's the silent BIOS, which will run a little bit slower than the OC, but it just runs the fans a little slower, making the card operate quieter. Whichever BIOS you happen to be updating, you want to make sure your switch is set to that particular BIOS mode. Uh, for example, for this video, I'm going to update the silent BIOS, so I make sure my BIOS switch is set to silent. If you're updating your OC BIOS, you'll want to make sure your switch is set to OC. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's keep moving. As a precautionary step, it's a good idea to first save a copy of your current vBIOS just in case things go wrong and you need to flash back to the original vBIOS. So click on save here. Uh, you can then choose where you want to save the ROM to as well as name it whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, since I'm updating my silent BIOS, I'm going to name mine old BIOS underscore silent and then click save. When you see this message pop up, your BIOS is now backed up and you're ready to flash your card with the new one. Okay, uh, before I go any further, I feel I should make it perfectly clear that there is some risk involved with flashing your card's vBIOS. If you install the incorrect vBIOS or if the power goes out in the middle of the update, then you could brick your card. So from here on out, uh, you are proceeding at your own risk. I am not responsible if you mess up and brick your card. That being said, this is a sanctioned update by AMD. So as long as you download and install the vBIOS from your card's manufacturer, uh, you should be all good. Okay, so let's click continue and then click load image. You'll now need to navigate to wherever you downloaded and extracted your vBIOS update files to. You'll then go into the DOS files folder here, open it and select the .rom file you're wanting to update. Since I'm updating my silent BIOS, I want to select silent.rom and click open. We can now go ahead and click program and AMD VB Flash will update our card to the new vBIOS. Once it's finished, you should see a window pop up saying the vBIOS was programmed successfully. And after you click OK, it will prompt you to restart your computer. And that is pretty much it. Uh, if you don't care to update the other BIOS on your card, you can be done now. But if you want to update both the OC and silent BIOSes, you'll want to shut your PC down, switch to the other BIOS mode on your card, go back into AMD VB Flash, back up that other BIOS, and then update to the new vBIOS for that mode. And that, my friends, is it. Uh, pretty easy stuff, really. What did you think of the video? Uh, did I go into too much detail, not enough detail, or was it all of Baby Bear's stuff in the story of Goldilocks? Just right. Now please leave me a comment and let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please do all the usual YouTube things, hit the like button before you head out, uh, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. I also invite you to check out my Amazon store, which I've placed a link to in the video description, where you can purchase many of the products I feature on my channel, including the PowerColor RX 5600 XT Red Dragon that I featured in this video. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to hanging out again in another video real soon. Later.